What is going on lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player review slash training guide. So if you want to see dedicated training guides for these where we go into a lot of detail, comparisons with GP players and all that rigmarole, get in touch with me in the comments below. We will do a few on our live streams as well Thursday, Friday and Monday. But yeah, this is a fairly good pack lads. I know a lot of people will probably sleep on this because of the fact that Adriano and Cordova are there. But I genuinely think this is one of the best show times that they have released because of Cavaradona, lads. This guy is an absolute insane monstrosity of a winger, right? One of my favorite players, his standard card, his free nominating contract card was brilliant as well. But we've got the momentum dribbling skill on him as well, which is insane, right? We've also got Savage, who's a center mid. He can also play a couple of different formations and tactics and positions. And we also have Kim. Now, we did have another version of Kim that was on the free nominating contracts. This Showtime Kim does not have Fortress, right? He doesn't have Fortress, but he has Blocker, Interception, Sliding Tackle, Aerial uh, Superiority, and Acrobatic Clearance. The only thing he doesn't have is Heading, and he doesn't have Fighting Spirit as well, or Man Marking, but that's not a huge deal because he does have Unwavering Form. He's down as a Destroyer, right? So I think we start with him, and then we'll work our way towards Savage and uh, Kvrachkilia. So this guy has actually got some pretty decent stats. I'm going to do a real-time training guide of him over on eFootballDB. He's got 27 levels to go. Very tall, very mobile even for uh, a player that's this tall and this strong, right? Physically, he's an absolute monster. 84 physical contact off the rip, 80 tackling off the rip, and then the 76 aggression is going to be nice for a destroyer. Usually you have destroyers that are a little bit more aggressive he doesn't have like maxed out aggression like you know the likes of rudiger somebody like that who's also a destroyer um but i do think that his levels make up for it right so when we go over to football db we are going to take a look his standard card has 27 levels as well but only a base start uh overall of 79 overall so this guy is four more points overall than him he's got plus four on the this card has got like minus four, the standard card. So this card has got plus four on physical contact, awareness and tackling among other things, right? So he's, a, he's just a vastly superior card. They did release this card as well. Uh, that was there. And that card is not too bad. You can see there he's got minus one tackling, but plus one aggression, speed and acceleration. So if you have this version of the card, he's a pretty decent card as well. But I do think that this Showtime one is the main man now. And I'm going to show you why, right? So any of these destroyer playstyle lads, uh, I've covered this in a lot of videos and I will be covering playstyle videos a little later on in the week as well. But all you need to do really is get the aggression up because the AI is going to be pretty dominant with these destroyer builds. This playstyle here, as you can see here, the destroyer. And of course, the fact that he has got blocker and interception as well. He can pass the ball at low lofted. He's going to be able to cover in the air with superior aerial superiority and acrobatic clearance. Sliding tackle as well is going to come in handy when you get those couple of animations on the ground if you do slide a lot. A lot of people don't slide, but it's just nice to have that, right? But I think the biggest thing about him is the fact that you get a nice blend of everything. You can go 75 acceleration if you want to have him quite zippy. You don't need to go that high, but it brings up the balance quite a bit. You can go 75 speed. You can go 76 speed if you want to. And then in the air as well, he's going to be very decent as well. So you can actually get a couple of more stats here depending on how you want to train him up. He does only have 75 as header, okay? So even though he's tall and even though he does have aerial superiority and acrobatic clearance, you do need to kind of, you know, max out his jump um, if you are going to be defending in the air quite a lot because he doesn't have header and he doesn't have jump too much, right? So again, we do our little trick where we're either going to give, um, you know, the jump a boost by five points or else we're going to go four into that and then one more into aerial strength. Now, I would say, right, with this build that you have here, he's a 94 overall version of him. He's got 77 speed, 75 stamina, stamina and 75 acceleration, right? But he's only got 88 aggression and he's only got 86 defensive engagement. Defensive engagement is kind of a key stat. So I would, you know, this is kind of a player that you can kind of have him as a very complete player, right? You can have the speed, the acceleration, and you can also have the heading ability and the on the ground defending as well. But I would actually just really kind of um, not even boost up his speed that much. I would actually leave his acceleration at 70, and I would also leave his lower body at 75 uh, with only one point into lower body strength to bring up his speed and stamina, just one fraction, right? 
Then on top of that, I'm probably going to double down on this as well um, to give him those stats that are that you're seeing there on screen, where he's got the 91 aggression, the 95 tackling, and the 94 defensive engagement, right? Now, if you wanted, or the 89 defensive engagement, if you are going to depend on his player form arrow, you can actually max that out, which I think is the best version of him, 14 into defending, and then you can obviously put in a couple of more into dexterity if you want to bring that up. Or you can pop two more on to get his physical contact past 90. This will mean that you're going to be able to really push people around the place, which I think he is an absolute beast at doing, right? Next up, we've got Savage. Not as much detail needed on Savage, right? I will do a training guide on him if you need it. Uh, but this should cover everything. Again, you've got really good stats. You don't have double touch, but you do have one touch pass. Unwavering form, as is the norm. And then you've got 36 levels to go. So this guy actually takes a little bit more training but i'll give you a good example of how to play him right i'm going to play him not really as a defensive player um he is down as a whole player so i am going to use him and this build is going to be for an attacking midfielder right so 75 finishing if you shoot a lot that's more than enough if you shoot more you can actually raise that to 80 quite easily but for now we're going to leave it at 75 passing we can get that to the 88 mark for the low pass dribbling we're going to go the same so the lowest one that we're going to have here is going to be dribbling into the 88 mark um, that's probably a little bit overkill, we don't really need that, but we'll see how we go, actually, do you know what, I would probably bring this down to like 85 with the dribbling, we're not going to be dribbling a massive amount with him, bring this acceleration up to about 75, I would say, and that leaves us 8 points then if we want to go 75 with that, and 5 into defending, I think that's a very solid uh, card that you're going to be playing as a whole player don't remember or don't forget you're going to be playing as a whole player he's 96 overall and on top of that you have a card that you can kind of do a lot with right you've got one touch pass that will complement the passing you've got the dribbling which is insane listen if you're not going to be playing him in that deep of a role and you're not going to be playing him as a, as a, a really kind of advanced whole player or you don't shoot you can simply take this down and you can also take the dribbling down once you keep the ball control and the tight possession at around 91 and 90. You control the rest of the stats into the fence if you want to get the aggression past 80. Or else, of course, you can pump a few more into uh, lower body strength to bring up his speed and stamina. It's a very versatile card. There's no real right way to train it, not like Cavaradonna or not like Kim. You can't really make a mistake with this card. It is dependent on how you want to play him in your formations. But a good card all the same. And then the creme de la crop, the pick of the bunch, it has to be Kvrashkilia. This guy is a monster, right? Unwavering form. He's only 21 years of age. He's got double touch. He's got soul control. So he'll have that special double touch um, that you, you know, you love to see. Neymar style, acrobatic finishing, momentum dribbling, cut behind and turn, Marseille turn. And of course, he does have Rabona and dip and shot with long range curler as well. So very unique card. He's got 32 levels to go, which frees up a lot of stuff with him. A very decent card, lads. His standard card, this standard card and this mid-season one was an absolute beast. So I definitely think that this card tracks well with the 34 levels. This guy's only got 32 levels, but he's got a much better overall rating to start with at 84, okay? So when you are training him up, you need to make one decision and one decision only. And I've talked about this in multiple videos. Are you going to play him as a shooting cut in winger or are you going to play a passing winger, right? If you're playing a passing winger, I would definitely not recommend using Kvrashkilia on the left flank or the right flank. I would be using this guy as a cut in and shoot, similar to Messi, Salah, Neymar, somebody like that, that you're not going to be dependent just on their pure, um, you know, pace and passing or you don't want him as an all-rounder. You have a very specific goal in mind when you get the ball with him, like Vinicius Jr. and Dembele. You're running at the attack, or running at the defense, and you're creating loads of openings, right? So that is why I do have a fairly good balance here with the five into shooting and the five into low pass. That gives us 75 low pass and 80 finishing. But as I said, if you are more of a passer, um, you can take away this and pop three into that, and you'll still get the same overall rating with 78 low pass. You still have 75 finishing. If you do not really pass the ball that much at all, you can, throw double, you can throw one touch pass on him or one of the player skills, the additional skills. You can just leave this low pass at 72 or maybe 73 when the form arrow comes up and you can put six into finishing, right? But what I would do with him is I'm going to do exactly as um, I would train him. And this is exactly where I would go with him, right? The one thing that he's kind of a little bit... Um, subdued on is his dexterity that you need to pump in so much into that 
So I'm actually going to pump up that and his overall speed and acceleration. You still have 92 dribbling. You're going to get the boost to the ball control with the 88 stat. You're also going to get the boost to finishing with the 78 stat. And then, of course, you're going to have the acceleration and balance. Balance is going to be pretty much maxed out, which makes a huge difference to this card. Trust me on that, lads, with the momentum dribbling and the fact that he has very little physical contact. So give that build a go. You can always retrain it and check out a future video of mine. I will be back quite soon with another uh, guide on Kvrashkilia with some review of him and also showing you some clips. So if you enjoyed this video, lads, don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you in a bit and I'll see you in the live stream.